What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more MLA action, and today we're going to do something part of the brand new pool party event. We're doing a little bit of whaling, because if you guys didn't know from other games we play, we whale decently on the main accounts. So we're not going to go overboard on this account, we're going to keep it a little bit conservative for our standards. I mean, normally we're like the max VIP in the game. This one, we're definitely not doing that. But something that we're going to do today is going to be the World Odyssey. So part of this event, we have 225 dice. Yes, 225. So uh, the rewards for this are, of course, going to be those summer swim rings. We're going to get the premium scrolls. Uh, now, this one's cool. I just don't know if I want to go for sacred scrolls to keep working on our next order project that we have or keep going for more miracle food to hopefully get another ascended uh, hero because we're almost at two ascended heroes on our account and then of course lastly you know i was originally going to go for oh not you what am i doing nope not you i was originally gonna go for lunox but since we kind of decided to do this lunox we already have maxed out so i don't know who i want to pick just yet we'll probably hold on to this chest for a while um maybe grab an Emma Tassaru? I don't know why I just said it like that. I always say it so wrong. It's it's I just names names guys. One of my worst things. <laughs> we would probably hold on to it unless we want to go for token valors or something like that. But besides that, we get twenty more of the summer rings. Let's see how this works out. So in case you guys did not know, of course, you tap the dice icon to roll here. The goal is to unlock all of these buildings. And once you do land on a building, you'll get five empty hearts over them. You, of course, want to land on them each five different times. But each time you get different types of rewards. If you unlock all five, you get 10 of the uh, miracle, right? I'm still getting used to the terminology, right? Miracle summons, yes. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and then, of course, if you get all of them done, you, that's when you start getting the chest so not too bad so we uh, already got two unlocked with our free dice that we've been getting every day let's jump into it let's oh we, we went backwards I don't, I don't like that oh what is this luck this is the luck from all the other games no all right let's keep moving forward <laughs> oh okay we got that unlocked as well down there um okay cool let's keep going empty spots not good that is good because we got four of wait yeah, we're just missing the one that we need to unlock now. We do get the lucky dice here, I guess is what I'll call it. This is what's called an idle heroes, at least. Uh, I think we're going to go to land on the one over there. Uh, diamonds are upgraded. So we got a heart here. We get a buff card. What was that? Push away demons you meet before you pass square one. I don't know what that means. We'll figure it out here in a second. Not too bad. Actually, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, I should have used it right here. I think I'll save it for the future. I'll hold on. One, only one. Oh, okay. That's good. So we unlocked all of them. So now we do. No, get out of here. We'll get out of here. We're not doing that. So we did get our 10 uh, Miracle Summons there. Should we start using this dice now? One, two, three, four. We should use it when we're like getting a five or a six to land on another spot. That's really good. Let's see what our next buff card is. Obtain one dice. One, two, three, four, five. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to roll a six so that we land right here to upgrade the hearts. Get another buff card. What was that one? 100% chance to land on the next building before you pass square one. Uh, okay. So I guess that means like we're going to land on this. Okay. That's, that's kind of cool. I'll take it. 100% chance to land in the building before you pass square one. That sounds pretty good again. Uh, really no point using the dice because it's just going to stop us on the square that we need to. And it levels it up. Holy cow, it's trying to give me another package? Is that literally the second pack? Yeah, it's trying to give me tons of value packs here. Uh, sorry, sir, I don't think we're going to be buying those. <laughs> we already bought plenty to the point where we hit VIP 13. And that's kind of like our stopping point. So... Okay, we have no cards. One, two, three, four, five, six doesn't get us there. So let's do a normal dice. Six will get us there now. So we're maximizing our rolls to keep getting these hearts because we got to get all of them maxed out. Leveled up the uh, advanced essence, which is good. We're going to pass go here. 
I'm just gonna call it go. I know it's start. One, two, three, four, five, six, perfect. We can get another six, maximizing the amount of travel time we have because of course, getting around the board is really important because every time you pass start, you get one of those dice. You don't have to land on it, nothing. It's a really, really, really good event so far from what I'm seeing. Nothing on that spot. Ooh, we got those 800 diamonds. I will take it. Oh, and we used our card right there that basically knocks the demon out of the way. This is kind of like free parking over here. It feels a lot like Monopoly in a way. <laughs> it definitely feels like Monopoly. All right, so one, two, three, four, five. Should we do it? <sighs> no, because I feel like if we roll a one or a five, that, that's like, now, of course, we then don't roll it. <laughs> Two, three, four, five. Again, I'm going to try to just keep using our normal dice for a little bit here. Oh, we're getting kind of unlucky with these. <sighs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, nah, we'll just save it up. I, that was actually perfect. We get a free dice as well, and we can roll a six right here. Upgrade this one to two stars, and then get another buff card on top of that. Another dice. I will take it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eh. I gotta keep going with the normal dice here. One, two, three, four, five. But I really need to get this one leveled up. Let's just uh, roll the normal dice. <laughs> I'll take it. Honestly, if we have to just keep hitting this one with the lucky dice, a bunch will be good. Of course, we're on this one, so we roll a six. We get another heart. We get another buff card. 100% chance to land on the next building. I mean, that's, well, no one should just use the normal dice, although it's probably gonna screw us over. But uh, we're gonna get plenty far in this. Honestly, I don't even think we needed to get as many dice as we did. Like, really not. Um, let's do that, perfect. Okay, that's good. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna roll a three here. Because I really wanna start getting this one leveled up. It's so far behind all the other ones. Uh, that's looking pretty good. 800 more diamonds, I will take it. That's a bad roll there. Ooh, it went up to 1,000. This is gonna give us a decent amount of food and three star fodder as well. Okay, not too bad. Uh, let's use a normal dice here. Ugh. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, I'm gonna go with a four this time. We'll get this one upgraded to three hearts here. We got the basically the protection from the little demons this time, so we don't have to worry about it. Uh, again, we're just going to keep rolling right now and see what we can get. We got that one completely maxed out. Perfect. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, that is definitely what we are going to do right there. Looking good. Uh, we're leveling up a bunch of these. I wonder, is there a max level that they can go up to? Oh, you can actually see like all the rewards you got too. That is awesome. Oh, no, the, the 50 rewards you've recently received. Okay. All right, no special dice, so we're just going to have to slow roll it with our dice here. Land it on go. Let's just roll it out. One, two, three, four. Is it worth it? No. Come on, man, really? <laughs> All right, so we're not going to be maximizing, but we're going to do a uh, three right here just to get over to this one, get it leveled up to three. Got a free dice. I mean, these are a lot of dice. This, you know what? We might need to just skip the animation. As cool as it is to watch it, we're just going to do like the instant moving <laughs> animation here. Uh, let's just roll a normal dice here. Let's go one, two, three, four. Four dice right here. Looks good. We're getting close to having them done, and we have a ridiculous number of these dice left. I probably could have just bought one days of dice and been perfectly fine. Okay, so level six looks like it is the max here. And we almost have this event done. Can we get a one? No. You know what? I, I, I don't like the skip animation. It feels way too fast. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. And if you guys don't know, in Idle Heroes, the main game we play, uh, there's a game called Imps Adventure that's very similar to this game right here. And it's actually quite fun but frustrating. This one is much better because you get that exact dice guaranteed in the other game. In, in Idle Heroes, you have to like perfectly land on it one two three four five six not quite all right so um you can use regular dice here maybe a one ah it's the one time i actually want a one perfect all right man everything is getting leveled up to max so essentially after we do this uh once we get around the board here perfect that is perfect all right, so now we're six away. We are gonna unlock every single heart. So we already got everything done in the event. We're gonna be able to claim this one, this one, and this one here. So 
Now there's rank and rewards? What? There's, oh my God. Oh my God. Did you see that? 114? What? And this is across all the test servers, of course. I guess there's not even like that many people doing it that many. Um, adventurers with the most tour progress during the event will obtain. That is a cool border right there. 30 and 40 soul meteors. Okay, so what's this? Like 35 hearts. Get Oh, so there's even more stuff further down the list. Man, if we do this enough, maybe we can get Emma Chisaru. I don't know why I say I can't. I just can't pronounce it right. Maybe we'll just get you leveled up. Although, um, wait, I didn't mean to do that. Just, yep, just go through your animation. Hold on. Martis, is that one that I want, even though it's not in the light? I mean, we could go for Fanny. Nah, we're not going for Fanny. If anything, we'll just get Lunox to like max or something like that. Okay, so we still want to make sure we land on the hearts every single time if possible. So we want to try to optimally use these. One, two, three, four. I think we will do that. We just want to try to get five hearts every single time here. Five hearts as much as possible and try to accumulate them up. <laughs> We almost have everything on the board to max. That was an amazing roll there. What is this? Oh, push away demons. Oh my god, we actually landed on that. That's crazy. Oh, they keep going up higher. So what we want to use is the special dice to try to get the ones that are already leveled up. Um Okay. I can see how you can get a lot of hearts here. Or does it only count as one? Oh, I see. It doesn't count as six every time you land on it. This is just the running total. Oh, my goodness. So that person actually got 114. My God. <laughs> it's extraordinarily high amount of dice at the same time. Good Lord. There is some strategy to it, though. There definitely is. Uh, we're going to use a normal dice again. Perfect. One, two, three, four, five. Honestly, I think I might just wanna I think I just might want to start doing something like this and grab that diamonds every time around because every time around the board it goes up. So honestly, I think what we're gonna do is just deal with however many hearts we get and just keep trying to snipe this right here. I think that's the game plan. Just we're gonna get a ridiculous amount of diamonds off of this. We started today with like I believe a thousand diamonds so it'd be really interesting to see how this actually turns out um uh, one two three four five uh i wonder how high this maxes out does it max at like two thousand maybe we're gonna have a lot of food on this too good lord oh my goodness so it's still at 1200 so it hasn't gone up yet yeah let's just random draw it every time so we're what five away again Let's do a five. Let's see if it goes up. I mean, we're getting a ton of diamonds. I know I say gems a lot. You know what I mean, though, guys. It's diamonds. It's diamonds. What does it go up to? Come on. Oh, did we actually get them all? Okay, one, two, three, four. We'll do. We'll continue to do this then. Now <laughs> we'll try to get as many hearts as possible at this point. Man, the free dice just come out of nowhere. Imagine how many hearts we'll end up with if, for some reason. I do some stupid things and actually spend 200 bucks on more packs. I mean, that's a lot of five stars as well. In case you guys didn't know, our team is looking pretty stacked. I did decide to get a Valir up. I know a lot of you guys said he's like the best PV damage dealer. So I'm going to build like one hero in every other faction that's, you know, solid, decent. One you want to use. We're already up 8,000 gems on this event. Holy cow. Diamonds. Diamonds. I got to remember to say diamonds. Sorry, guys. I know it's probably driving you nuts here. And this is going to be a long one because we still have 156 to go. Um, Maybe I should just cut this a little short and do a little, uh, we'll be back. I'll jump ahead a little bit and you guys can see where we end up because this is actually going to take a really long time, like a really long time, especially if we keep getting all the free dice, getting a free dice every time you go around the board is honestly ridiculous. So yeah, I'll be back and I'll show you guys where we're at when we get towards the end. Okay, so let's just be honest about something here. This event is absolutely crazy. You will see what my heart total is. This game gets ridiculous. 
ridiculously, ridiculously out of control, like ridiculously out of control when you get to the high levels here. I, I haven't even claimed all my stuff. I'll do that in a minute. So essentially what happens is this buff right here, a 100% chance to land on the next building before you pass the start square. If you get it here for some reason in the game, every time you land on a subsequent one, you keep getting that buff. So you literally go around the board and you hit every single one of them in like five dice. The other thing that happens is the sheer number of free dice you get on this is crazy. On average, like I think it took me maybe two to three dice to make an entire trip around the board, including of course the, uh, the loaded dice. The loaded dice is crazy. If you save them up and make sure you're using them, like when you land here on spot one, you roll a six to get to this one. Oh my God. You just, the amount of buffs you get is insane. And it literally just gets out of control. I'll show you what our final tally is for all of our boxes and everything. Cause this is going to be crazy. You guys are going to just, I mean, this thing just keeps going. It just keeps going higher and higher. And it's absolutely ridiculous. Let's take a look at our bag. So we have four of these selection boxes. Um, what, What's the difference? Oh, okay. This one here does not have chaos and order. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking we might just go for the token of valor. What are the sign stars? You guys let me know what I should be using this on. The other one, of course, I think, I mean, we got, what, five copies? That means we can get, we could either get our Lunox very, very far up into Ascended because she's already uh, Ascended. Or we could start working on, because I want every order hero. I definitely do. But we could always build two Lunox. That could be fun. Um... Oh man, we got a lot of interesting stuff to pull from here. We got a lot of good stuff, but I mean, I'm going to show you something else. And I don't know if you guys are prepared for it. Wow, look at all, how many of these we have as well. Look at this. Look at this number. The sheer number. And that's not even counting the summons that we have. Look at the summon numbers we have. 147 premium summons. I mean, I, I had those O's saved up because I don't know really what to do at this point. Uh, we did get 10 Miracle Summons. We'll probably grab more Miracle Summons than Sacred. I don't know. I don't know what we do. Do I focus on getting Akashic up to Ascended as well and then continue on Lunox? Or do we go for a third order hero to ascend it? I don't know. And I can't decide. I'm just, I don't know what to do. There's too many things to do. It's crazy. This event was bonkers, crazy, ridiculous. Next video, we will be opening these because that's going to be an absolutely crazy open. I could have even bought all. I mean, I'm sure it's only showing two of these super value packages. Oh, yeah. And look at the gems. Just to note, we started with 1,000 gems on this event. <sighs> We didn't, I mean, I'm sure there's like tw like 20 of these that I could purchase if I really wanted to. This is just a crazy, crazy whale event. Um, not really that great for free to play per se, but um, I think it's safe to say we're probably going to get this border and some extra resources. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what your experiences were with this event. If you spent a little bit, did you at least get through the first break points? Let me know. And I'll see you guys next time. But make sure you take one second. Before you get out of here, hit that subscribe button. See you guys later.